Hey guys, this is Prajesh. Today I'm going to show you how to connect Microsoft SQL Server with Python, extract the data, do some manipulation and analysis, and push it back to the database. So this is a sample data that I'm going to use. So I have ID column, few numeric and categorical variables, a date column. So let's create a table in Microsoft SQL Server. So I'm going to use Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. So let's first create a table. And there's a simple way to create. Let's go to Tasks, Import Data, click Next, select the data source. So I have the data in Microsoft Excel format. So select the file, click Next, choose the destination and it's going to be SQL Server Native Client 11.0. Click Next. So select the mappings. So we have to make sure that all the columns have the respective data types. So ID column is float, state is end worker, date is in date time format. So everything looks fine. Click OK. So let's preview this and this is how the table is going to look like. So it looks good. Click OK. Click Next. And click Finish. So it's going to take a couple of seconds here. Table is now created. Click close. So let's refresh it. Yeah. Now let's display the table. So this is our table that we created. So the table looks fine. All the variables are available. So now that the table is created, let's go to Jupyter Notebook. So there are multiple ways to establish connection with Microsoft SQL Server and Python. So I'm going to show you how to do it with SQL Alchemy. So SQL Alchemy is a database connection module for Python. And this library will act as a communicator between Python programs and databases. So there's one more thing that you need to know, something called as object relational mapping. So what it means is SQL Alchemy will translate all the Python classes to tables in relational databases and it will use something known as function calls. So you don't have to worry anything about writing SQL statements to map them. The functions in SQL Alchemy will handle everything. So let's import these libraries and pandas is required for the data manipulation. So just go ahead and import these two libraries. So the next step is to establish the connection. So this function create underscore engine it acts as a session object to it, and it's like an interface to the database. So you have to provide all the details. So this is the syntax for create underscore engine. You have to provide the username, password of SQL Server Management Studio, the server details, database, and the driver. So if, if you go to the security options in SQL Server Management Studio, I have selected something called as SQL Server Authentication Mode and I have created a username and the password for this. So I'm going to give the username and password and all the details here. And the next command is going to be connect. So this command will act as a proxy for the database API connection. So now that all the connections have been established, 
you can directly go ahead and read the data from the table so i'm just going to fetch the last record from the table so i'm going to execute this so let's first check the data types of the variables so you have to make sure that the data type which is there in the table and the data type which python has recognized is right so everything looks fine so let's display the data so this is the last record in the table which we have created so now i'm going to make a few changes uh, i'm going to change the state of this particular record to minneapolis and i'm going to increment the id as well so let's execute this and check the data all right so then so now the state has been updated and the id column has also been incremented now i'm going to push this new record back to the table so i'm going to append this so as i told you sql alchemy has something called as the object relational mapping and you just have to pass this function so this will automatically create the sql statements for you and it will append the data so this is the parameter that i'm going to pass to append the data and i don't require any index and i'm going to pass the established connection engine so you don't require a chunk size here it's required when the then we are when you are going to append a huge amount of data so let's execute this one as well so now that it's done let's go back to the database and check the data so it's going to be the 60001st record so let's order by id in descending order and now let's check the data So now you can see that the new record has been updated.